Southeast up front. Clemson Michael trying to say that does. The Glenn Corbett and Clemson has the ball first. You saw Maryland won the first beating 94-84 in College Park. Clemson strong their last time out. Handled Wake Forest pretty well here. They really played well their first game without their center Glenn McCann. In the middle there's Grant. Horace Grant kicks it right back outside. Maryland and the man. It's pretty interesting to note that Lefty Brazil's been frustrated the last two times trying to get his 500 to win and Clemson off a big win against Wake. Corbett shot in and out, went and six. And here comes Maryland with the basketball. Gap into the top of the circle. Grayson Marshall picked him up to protect the Clemson defense for him. up inside. Gatlin took a look, but he didn't get the ball to him. Atkins from the top of the circle drills it. You know, Atkins had a good game against Clemson up at Maryland. He had 24 points, and it was a big, big rush for them because his points really pushed it over the top for them. Good, solid veteran player, Jeff Atkins, getting the start here today. Has Maryland on top, 2-0. Hamilton, Morris Grant. Maryland defensively also on the man-to-man. Good screen, Green Hamilton. Hamilton a little strong with a try, has his own rebound, and gets it up a little bit out of shape. Now Grant takes it back up, reverse scores, and he's been fouled. Looks like Lewis came over the back and got him. Good strong rebound by Horace Grant. Watch it once more. Hamilton with a miss. You'll see it. It slides out of his hand. It goes on the other side. Grant down strong with a rebound. Gatlin not much up for Maryland, and the foul came from Lewis on the back side. Grant, 6'9", sophomore from Sparta, Georgia, has a twin brother, Harvey, on this club. You saw Cliff Ellis watching from in front of the Clemson bench. Grant's free throw is good. Three-point play, Horace Grant. Clemson goes up by one, 3-2. A little full-court breaker now. Token breaker. Michael. Picked up Grant in midcourt. Now Atkins, now Grant. He's good time. A little trap. And he clears it to Gavin, who had trouble making the catch. I think he got by with a walk. Good Gavin. feed inside. Atkins wide open. Good feed. Adrian Grant now back to Gavin, and Gavin winds up at two. Or rather, Atkins winds up at two. Cliff Ellis said his club is going to try to run against Maryland. After that made field goal, they really busted out pretty quickly, but Maryland's back quickly on defense. Grant is taking the quick pop. Coming back out, picking up man to man. This time a little less pressure. Now they double team at midcourt. It's a third different look on defense, Fred, we've seen from Clemson. Well, you call it right. They, they, said, they said they would, and they've been doing a bunch of it. There's a foul called against Hamilton. Well, they opened up straight man to man, then they went to their full court pressure zone, and then they went to a half court trap, trying to catch Maryland on either side of the half court line. That time they were unsuccessful with it. Now Branch goes to the line, and he'll have two shots. Well, the last few games. Grant blocked the baseline, works against Derek 
good passing game right now. Runback comes a good block. Action blocks it. And Grant gets it back and scores his seven points. Horace Grant has all seven Clemson points in this ball game. Here comes Clemson again with that half-court zone pressure out front. 16-35 left in first half action. Well, it was interesting. Adrian Branch had a wide open down the middle that time and didn't take advantage of it. He could have moved in and, and taken that 18-foot jump shot, which he's very adept at. Glenn Bias. And a whistle blowing down in the lane. Hank Nichols has a foul call. Horace Grant, his first foul. Second team foul on Clemson. One has been called against Maryland. Maryland's going to inbound the basketball, and there's Branch again at the top of the circle, and they're going to give it to Gatlin and let him set the offense up. Gatlin very deep on the wing. Hamilton set on defense, third back of the circle, giving him plenty of room. Gatlin all alone at the top of the circle and drills it. Keith Gatlin with his first two points. And it's 9-7, Maryland by two again with 16 minutes left in the first half. Clemson runs their half-court game. They really do a lot of screening down inside, and at some point in this passing game, you'll find a couple of guys post up. They'll look, and if they're not there, they'll continue right on through with the screen. There's the post and the feed. That's Corbett. He hasn't seen the ball very much. Left hands it up. Grant tips twice and gets it. Horace Grant has all nine Clemson points. Good effort on the board, Larry. It's Grant nine, Maryland nine. Boy, what a start for the sophomore, Horace Grant. Now a little pressure defense being played, and it pays a dividend. Clemson forces the turnover. Hamilton brings it up to the circle. From the deep corner, Glenn Corbett, nope. And Hamilton keeping it alive. Too deep to shoot, now does off the baseline and scores. 11-9, Clemson by two. Good to see somebody else get in the scoring column there right. beside Horace Grant. Hamilton with a good shot right there and good hustle to get the ball. There's left in yourself. Cliff Ellis has already taken his coat off at the Clemson bench. That's him in the white shirt. Gatlin down the lane, blocked by Hamilton, and loose ball battle won by Hamilton. Good feed to Marshall. They're two on two, and Marshall's going to take the shot. No good. Glenn Corbett keeping it alive. Boy, Clemson winning loose ball battles. Michael off the baseline. And Clinch has it for Maryland. And for the first time, Maryland really got inside and started to battle on the boards that time. I tell you, Clemson's really taking it to him on the offensive class. Clemson winning a lot of loose ball battles here, too, Larry. Well, they'd like to break that string. You know, Maryland's had a pretty good... They've won the last five games against this club, and they'd really like to break that. They've broken three other wins uh, by other clubs in the ACC. Great shot there by Lynn Byers. How about the jump shot? Is that one of the classic jump shots in Dallas basketball? He might be the best player in this league, Chris. He may be. Two points, Lynn Byers. We have an 11-11 tie. 14-10 left in first half action here. Good execution of the offense right now. They're looking for that open man. They do the screen and away from the ball. Hamilton down inside. Watch him cut across that lane. They really do a good job with this half-court half court game. Grant. Well, Corbett had it all alone and winds up being fouled by Gatlin. Corbett had a shot there. But he was feeling some defensive pressure around him and started to make a move and wound up being fouled. First on Gatlin, second on Maryland. And we have a timeout taken here at Little John Coliseum in Clemson, South Carolina. The timeout comes with 13.47 left in first half action. Score now, Clemson 11, Maryland 11. With Larry Conley, 13.47 left in our first half, and Clemson and Maryland tied 11-11. Larry Clemson's out-rebounded Maryland 6-2. Maryland hasn't missed a shot. Maryland's 5 of 5, Clemson 5 of 9. Yeah, if you didn't look at the scoreboard, you'd think right now Clemson's running away with this basketball game, but Maryland really hot on the other end. They're shooting the ball extremely well. You can't do any better. It's a 100%. Cliff Ellis switching defenses constantly is really making Maryland make the adjustment. Well, it makes you think, too. You know, when you're a Maryland club and they've got a lot of talent on this team, you got to look up and see what kind of defense you're facing, and then you make a different kind of offensive alignment depending on what you're facing. Makes your point guard play. Grant, Hamilton, Hamilton looking inside at Jones, can't get him. Jones hasn't had the ball yet, I don't believe. Clemson Center has yet to get his hands on it. There's Hamilton. Good. Ben Hamilton can shoot, picks up his fourth point. And again, Fred, it was that screen low on the baseline to free him to get that jump shot over there. Right now, Clemson running that half-court game extremely well. Hey, one thing, if Hamilton can get
gets a hot hand, and they can get him free for a shot. He can fill it up. There's Gatlin wide open. And hits again. Keith Gatlin has four points. We're tied at 13 and a good quick start to this ball game. I'd have to say Maryland has solved Clemson's defense, at least to this point. Yep. See what Clint Bullis does in the way of adjustment. Corbett to Horace Grant to Marshall. Gatlin with him. Grant in the circle. The ball's knocked loose. Marshall tips it back to Hamilton off balance. Shoots and can't get it. Corbett with a hand on it. Can't save it. It's out of bounds to Maryland. And the Terrapins with a chance to go back in front here now. Let's watch and see what Clemson does on defense this time. Maryland's come down there 6-6 six six from the field against this Clemson defense. Whatever it is they're throwing out there. And Maryland is solving it very easily. Gatlin to Bias. A little bit of a zone. Well, you see the three guys on the top out there look like they're playing zone, but it looks like inside, Grayson's trying to play Atkins man-to-man. Branch, outside to Bias. Now Gatlin alone again, and hits again. I tell you, whatever they're doing, they're going to have to pull that defense out and get on Gatlin, because he'll shoot him to death right there. Gatlin has hit three shots. I think he's three for three, 15-13. Maryland in front here with 12-13 left in the first half. Offensive execution on these two clubs so far in the first eight minutes of the basketball game has been almost flawless. Gatlin is three for three. Grant inside. Jones has the ball. First time today. Lays it up. Won't fall for him. The ball loose on the floor. Hamilton trying to run it down. And Gatlin started by Grayson Marshall. Bias picks it up. Len Bias has four. The ball was loose twice. And Bias picked it up on the fly. Well, there were a lot of bodies flying after that basketball. Everybody was running after, but Bias got there first. 17-13, Maryland by four. That's the biggest weight of the game. There's the shooting in this ballgame. Clemson off to a cold shooting start. Going that back, Corbett. Jump hook shot is good. Glenn Corbett picks up his first two points. And it's 17-15, Maryland. But it's going to make it, have to make some sort of adjustment in this defense. They have. They've gone to a 1-2-2 zone now. They've come out a little bit further to shut down that shooting by Gatlin outside. Atkins to Branch. Branch looks down in a bias. He has a crowd around him. Now Atkins is alone, top of the circle. Off the hill rim, yep. Marshall. Jones. Hamilton all alone in the corner. Nails it. Vincent Hamilton picks up his six point. He can hit that shot, Larry. I'll tell you what, they've got uh, 10 players on this club out here. They're shooting the ball about as well as any two college basketball teams can shoot it. 17-17 tie, 10-40 left in the first half. Adrian Branch near the corner. Len Bias has it now. Tigers now packing that zone defense back inside. I guess they're going to let Atkins shoot it out from there. They're not going to let Gatlin, though. From the corner, Bias. Nope, Hamilton has the rebound. Look at him bring it up. Clemson's going to push it up. And now Hamilton decides to kick it back outside. Jones is alone in the circle. Good. First two points for Raymond Jones is operating at the center, and Clemson's up by two. We're going to have to change the net for halftime because they're going to be scored. 10 oh. 6 left in the first half, and a 19-17 lead to Clemson. Gatlin, Atkins, Bias. Bias bangs into Jones to steal the baseline on him, kicks it back outside. Clemson a little more active on the defense. Atkins is going to try it and nail it. Jeff Atkins has six points. He's a good shooter, 48%, and that's his range. Corbett, nope, tipped up, nope. And here comes Maryland. Atkins right back up court. They're going to slow it down a little bit, maybe wisely so. Good pace in this basketball game. Both clubs going up and down the floor very quickly and shooting the ball well. Uh, Brand started to drive. I think he was going to take the shot first, and Raymond Jones made a jump at him, and he traveled as he tried to start the drive. We have a timeout taken here. This one comes with 9.29 left in our first half. Clemson 19, Maryland 19, the score at the moment. We score with 9.29 left in the first half. We have a tie. 19.90 field goal percentage shooting. Maryland 9 of 11 for 82%. Clemson 9 of 21 for 43%. Fred, I've got to believe it's better than that. We've got six ties and five league changes. You can't ask for a better basketball game in the first ten and a half minutes. Been a very tight basketball game. Clemson playing at home. Of course, Maryland on the road. Maryland at five and four. Even in the loss column in the ACC, there are three teams with six victories and one team with seven. 82% shooting on the road to open a ball game. You just can't ask to get started any better than that on the road, Larry. 
to say, well, when you got guys like Ashens and Gatlin throwing it up from 15 to 18 feet, you're going to get that type of percentage, too. There again, the lead changes and ties that Larry mentioned. Hamilton, top of the circle. Michael, Marshall, Hamilton. Larry has gone to zone defense now. They went away from their man-to-man. -man. It's more like a 2-3. First change in the Maryland defense. Gatlin getting up to put pressure on Hamilton, though. They can't give him much room. He's going to take it off the key, and good. That's why he can't give him much room. When you set that 2-3 zone and you pack it back in like that, and I know what they were trying to do. They were trying to keep the ball away from the inside because they've had success in there, but you can't let Hamilton shoot the ball from that angle because if he does, he'll burn you. He has eight points now. When he gets on a streak, he can just fill it up. 21-19, Clemson at the moment. Good quick pace of this ball game. Bias, oh, what a nice move along the baseline. Oh, he can get up and get square about as good as anybody. Lenny Bias, he got about every offensive move in the book. He can do everything. He can shoot it outside, move to the inside. He can dish it, he rebounds. That's why he was the MVP in the ACC tournament last year. Oh, he had a great, a great player. He had a great tournament. Hamilton, Michael. ACC tournament will be held in Atlanta this year. There's Hamilton from the corner. Michael takes it back up, too strong. Grant tips and gets it. Horace Grant picks up his 11th point in the ball game. The 23-21 Clemson. One of the areas Clemson's most proud of in recent weeks has been their offensive rebounding, and they've done a great, and they're right back at it again in the first half today. Gatlin to Branch. Maryland trying to tie it. Branch partially blocked by Michael, taken away by Jones. Here come the Clemson Tigers up by two. How about Chris Michael getting a block on Adrian Branch? There's a the walk. They're going to go the other way. Clemson turns it over. There have not been many turnovers in this game. Timeout taken here now with 7 minutes and 36 seconds left in our first half. Timeout with the score. Clemson 23, Maryland 21. On the right now, and ESPN presents Top Rank Boxing Thursday, February 21st, 8.30 p.m. from Resorts International in Atlantic City. Keith Adams against Ray Gray, a 10-round middleweight bout. Score 23-21. Clemson leading Maryland by two. 7.36 left in the first half. Fred, these two clubs had a big shootout up at College Park. 94-84. Both of them scoring a lot of points in that game. It looks like we're going to hit down that same road here. All right, this is Cliff Ellis' first year at Clemson, but I know you've seen his teams play a lot in past years when he had all that success in South Alabama. It's only the second time I've seen his teams play, but he looks like he's willing to play an up-tempo game and just get it up and down with you. Oh, he loves to play that way. That's the kind of club he's always had. He had a junior college club in Lebanon, Tennessee, that averaged 105 points a game. Average? Average. <laughs> I guess they play fast. <laughs> Bias outside the gallop. How do you average 105 with a 40-minute clock? on the attack. Lefty has Tom Jones in the game now. Keith Gatlin, nice move, got himself open, and Keith Gatlin shooting well. He has eight points in this contest, and we're tied at 23. But Jones points. really working bias over on the inside. And you just got caught. <laughs> Jones just called for the personal foul. That will be the first on Jones, the third on Clemson. Maryland's been whistled for two. One of the recent changes in many years, I think, has been the post-play of college basketball on the inside. As evidenced by this fact right here, you saw that replay right there. The guys really bang each other more in recent years than they did when I was playing anyway. Interesting the way games are called. Guards can't touch one another out on the floor. Centers can wrestle one another all over the place. Tom Jones shoots the circle. Good. Tom Jones off the bench picks up two quick points. And Maryland's up 25-23 with 6.34 left in our first half. I just don't see how Maryland can keep up this torrid pace. They are really shooting the basketball well. You think they have to cool off sometime. They're taking those shots not around the circle. It'll be interesting to look at the shot chart on it. Grant, a little strong with a try. And Adrian Branch had long up court and couldn't get it to him. Boy, they had a game here last year. These two plays played three overtimes before Maryland finally won it. Gavin, too strong, missed that try. And Grant chases the rebound down. Here comes Clemson with a chance to tie. I think the encouraging factor by the just the sheer uh, weight of the shooting by Maryland right now is the fact that Clemson's only down two with the way Maryland is shooting. They were shooting 82% at the last stop. Then they missed two. Hamilton misses twice. The ball tapped around, and Len Bias has it for Maryland. Well, that was an easy miss right there by Hamilton. He had a good stick back and just missed it. Gatlin, Bias, Jones along the baseline. 
interesting, Larry, when you shoot the range Maryland's been shooting from them this a couple of times, you have a little tendency to back off or maybe start to aim it a little bit and think a little bit. We'll see what they do. Jones. Missed it that time, and there's Hamilton. Now three straight misses for Maryland after all that good shooting early. Marshall gets penetration, loses the ball. Good defense by Gatlin that time. Good hands. Gatlin, oh, what a feed. And the shot good by Adrian Branch. Good feed that time from Gatlin to Branch. Adrian has five points, and Maryland has a four-point lead. I tell you, Branch is going to get the points, but I tell you, the statistics are going to show up tomorrow is a steal right there by Gatlin, and a great assist by Gatlin. He got the bulk of the points as far as I'm concerned on that play. Grant, top of the circle. Jones is wide open, had a screen from Hamilton and didn't take the shot. Now they've got Marshall off the side of the circle. Boy, he threw up a line drive that was too strong. Loose ball on the floor, and Gatlin wins the race. Here he goes on Michael. He's going to take it and get it. Keep Good move. Gatlin. Finger roll. He got to the inside. It was one on two, and he just kind of knifed his way through. Gatlin big at 6'5". Picked up his 10th point, 29-23. Six-point lead to Maryland. Now the biggest lead of the ballgame. 427 left in our first half. Jones, Hamilton. Michael. Now Maryland away from that zone defense. Look at Grant. And he was fouled by Adrian Branch. Horace Grant saw daylight. A football expression. How about run to daylight? Branch picked up his first foul. Here it Looked is. it again right here. There was the miss right there, and that's what caused this play. With Terry Long going by, Horace Grant took advantage of it, went straight to the basket. There's the miss. Watch. There goes Grant straight up, and look at Branch trying to stop him. It's no contest. The 6'9 sophomore from Sparta, Georgia, Hancock Central High School. Second opportunity for a three-point play. He got a three-point play to start at the Clemson scoring. He has 13 points in the first half now. Two more than his average. That's how good a start he's had. 14 points for Horace Grant. Three-point play. It's Clemson within three of Maryland. 29-26, Terrapin. 4-12 left in first half action here. Now Clemson gives you a little bit different look on defense again. They're going man-to-man, -man and they pick up at half court. Well, what a quick first half this has been. Glenn Bias. Long is fouled. Oh, he's going to be called on a push, maybe. A foul against Long. They caught him pushing off. Terry Long draws his first foul. Just the fourth team foul on Maryland. Clemson's been whistled for three. This game just hasn't been stopped very much, Larry. The base has really been something. Here's a foul. That's a good call right there. Good call by Armstrong on the inside. He did push off as he tried to go get the basketball. There are two facts that stand out, I think, it's so far, Fred, in this first half. The one is we don't have a lot of turnovers and not a lot of fouls. The clock hasn't been stopped very much. These players have been going up and down the court at a pretty good pace. Corbett down in the corner to Grant. Now Michael came off the screen, but the shot wasn't there as Grant shut him down. Grant, baseline jumper, too strong. He really never got control of the ball. Maryland up by three with a basketball. 3.32 left in the first half. You know, if you're a basketball fan, you've got to like the pace of this basketball oh, yeah. game. Because so many clubs this year have taken it and milked that 45-second clock, which becomes really boring for the fans, but not these two clubs, and there's another field goal. Land bias again. Eight points for Bias. Now the five-point lead to Maryland. Grant Michael, good ball movement from Clemson, and they nail it. Chris Michael out of the deep corner picks up his first two points. Three quick passes, and Clemson got the pop out of the corner. 31-28. Maryland, Len Bias partially blocked, and Adrian Branch has the ball. Cliff Ellis thought that it was a walk. He thought two Maryland players had it at the same time. Look at Cliff Ellis. Branch from the deep corner, nope, and Branch spears the rebound. Hamilton's going to push it up in the corner. Corbin, good move by the Corbin. Oh. It's a charge. Did they give him the two? Count good. the basket. Yeah, good move by Corbin. Baseline move. Two points for Corbin. He draws his first foul on the charge. But boy, he made a good, strong move to the bucket. Lefty Grizzell watching his club come back. Timeout taken here with 2.38 left in first half action. Leads by a point. First, 11 p.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific Live. UCLA in California on ESPN. Lots of sports action coming your way on your sports network, 24 hours a day. 2.31 left in first half action here. Yes, I can say ESPN. <laughs> 31.30. I messed it up, didn't I? 
Good man to man defense right now by Clemson. Look at him come out and put the pressure. I think that's what they're going to have to do the last two and a half minutes of this first half, Fred. Derrick Lewis all alone in the circle missed the shot. And here comes Clemson out on the run with a chance to go in front. Hamilton. Oh! Corbett was up there, and so was Jones. Who got it? Well, there were nothing but white jerseys flying the ozone. Clemson in front. I'm going to give it to Corbett for the moment. And it's 32-31, Clemson with a minute 49 left in the first half. Ball knocked loose by Jones, saved by Atkins, and a foul called on Chris Michael. He tripped Atkins as Atkins tried to get to the baseline. First foul on Michael, just the fifth on Clemson. Fred, let's go back and watch this right here. Hamilton with a miss. Look at the white jerseys up here. Well, there were two guys right in the middle, and on the other, other side over there was Chris Michael. He was ready to go, and he saw two guys flying. He said, I'm getting out of the way. I'm going to make a right turn here. It was Corbett that got the two points, by the way. He has six now. Again, Clemson up by one. 138 left in a very active first half here in Clemson, South Carolina. Good matchup in the ACC today. Going to look at something positive for Clemson in the first half. It's been their offensive rebounding. They've really taken it to Maryland. Atkins, Gatlin, top of the circle. Gatlin's all alone and turns the shot down. That might be what we're talking about, Larry, when you miss a few shots and then start to think. Well, right now, Maryland a little bit more cautious. They're moving the ball around a little bit. they got 13 seconds on the shot clock. Tom Jones and Horace Grant with an authoritative rebound. Clemson gets the ball with a one-point lead in a minute six left in the first half. Clemson doesn't look like they're in any uh, slowdown at all. They want to move the basketball in and get a shot. Jones. Good movement. Look at the half-court game. Watch Clemson run the screen down low. You'll find somebody pop out, somebody post. Grant caught it and dropped it. Good feed. Good work. Corbett to the inside. Glenn Corbett now has eight points. And it's 34-31. Clemson's three-point lead is their biggest lead of the game. 26 seconds left in first half action. And Maryland's going to play for the last shot of the first half. 19 seconds left in the half. There you see the setup. Gatlin directing the offense. Now they start to move. 10 seconds left in the half. Bias along the baseline, and he is fouled with seven seconds left in the half. Good idea, Fred, right there to take this foul because he was moving to the basket. They only get the ball out. It's a common foul. They don't go to the line. They're not in the one-on-one. -on -one. The foul was called against Raymond Jones, his second. That is the sixth team foul called against Clemson. Maryland's been whistled for just four. And now substitution, Adrian Branch coming on the floor, replacing Derek Lewis. Lefty getting a little more offense out there for the last play. Again, seven seconds left in the half as Maryland plays it inbound. Having a little trouble getting stacked up along the lane. They throw it into Atkins deep on the wing. Branch top of the circle. Branch is going to start to move. He's going to have to shoot off balance. And a foul called charge. Adrian Branch is called for the charge. Lefty Drizel with his arms outstretched, wanting to know why. And Clemson gets it back with two seconds left. Well, I think it's a pretty good call right here. Branch gives a couple of pump fakes, can't go anywhere. Defense was standing their ground. He jumped right into it. Jumped into it. So Clemson has two seconds. They're going to throw it, it looks like, to midcourt at least. There's nobody down in that half of the court for Clemson. There they go. They launch one, and it's going to be picked off by Bias, but they get it back. <laughs> Harvey Grant got a hand on it and almost made the shot. Boy, what an active first half. Clemson's going to take a three-point lead to the locker room. Well, Maryland has shot the ball extremely well from a percentage standpoint. Clemson getting up just a lot more shots. Yeah, they uh, they shot 13 more shots than Maryland did. But Maryland was 15 of 24 for 62%. And on the other end, Clemson was 16 of 37 for only 43%. But the strong suit, I think, in the first half for Clemson was their offensive rebounding. They out-rebounded Maryland 18 of 11, and I can guarantee you most of those were offensive rebounds. Good stick back. Horace Grant doing the majority of it. He had 14 points and seven rebounds. There's the Maryland scoring. Keith Gavin with 10 points, all of them from well out on the floor. And then Murray towards the end of the half, kind of strange, turned down a good shot in the circle. Yeah, he did. And they're biased with eight. Adkins, six. Branch with five, and Jones with two. You look at the Clemson scoring right here. 
Everybody in foul trouble, as you can see. What a first half for Horace Grant. 14.7 rebounds, and Vince Hamilton didn't shoot well, but still has eight points. He was four of 12 from the field, which was the worst shooting of the first half. Horace Grant, six for nine from the floor, two for two from the free throw line, seven rebounds. Good first half for the sophomore. Ball knocked loose and taken by Clemson. Up to Hamilton. Hamilton, good feed to Grant, but he missed the shot. He caught the ball down around his waist and just couldn't get in shape to shoot it, Larry. Well, it was a great break, and they got the ball to Hamilton, who had a two-on-one situation, and he dished it off. And I think it kind of shocked the Maryland defense, because usually he'll put that shot up. Keith Gavin, maybe it shot Grant. <laughs> he didn't get a very good shot out of it. Kind of caught the ball on his heels, it looked like. We're underway in the second half. Three-point lead for Clemson. Maryland led by as many as six in the first half. Clemson's three-point lead is their biggest. Near steal, and the foul's going to be called. That's going to be on Lynn by as he reached out and... Just as the ball got free out there on the top, it looked like Horace Grant was going to make the move for it. You see right here, a good move to the outside. He picked it up, and Bias with a little bit of a grab. First foul on Land Bias in this ball game. There weren't many fouls in the first half of the game. How about the turnovers? Five to four, a total of nine in the first half. That's outstanding play for both clubs. Neither club got into one and one. Eleven fouls were called in the first half. Six Clemson, five Maryland. Michael. Maryland man-to-man -man on defense. Oh, Marshall dropped it but saved it in the corner. 24 seconds on the shot clock. Marshall, a very active player out there. He really helped his Clemson offense. He gets them going, gets them moving. Horace Grant to Hamilton. 15 seconds on the shot clock. Hamilton shot good. It's going to count. He was fouled. Adrian Branch picked up his second foul. We may have talked about his shooting being off in the first half, but he's starting the second half like gangbusters. Good shot there, Hamilton. He goes to the line for a three-point chance. Excuse me, that was the third foul on Adrian Branch, so he's the first person in any kind of foul trouble. Vincent Hamilton looking for his 11 points. Clemson now up by five. Len Bias clears the rebound for Maryland. Here come the Terps. Down by five. Long way to go in this ballgame. 18-39, left in this contest. Marshall covering Gatlin out on this floor. Bias, Clemson has stayed in the man-to-man -man defense spread. They opened up at the beginning of the second half. Len Bias banks it home. He picks up his 10 point. Has he got some athletic prowess? He really does. Marshall, Cramp, Hamilton. Branch getting him some cushion out there. Not a bad way to play him, right? Both clubs playing man-to-man -man defense right now. Clemson trying to post up on the inside. Good idea to have Marshall and Hamilton out front handling. Branch giving Hamilton some cushion there. Corbett gets it up and is fouled. Times I've seen Hamilton, he doesn't really seem like he likes to catch the ball and go straight up and shoot it. So Branch giving him a little bit of cushion and Hamilton hasn't taken a shot there yet. I think it's interesting to note that the Maryland defense really plays in back of people who post up on them on the inside. They like to block shots. Clemson likes to take advantage of that. They get in low. That time they got bias, and you get him on your hip. And Corbett is a strong enough player that he can turn around and stick it in. That time he drew the foul. Corbett's free throw. No good. Two in a row they've missed. Hamilton missed a three-point opportunity. And right there, Corbett missed the first of two. And the three-point lead at the moment for Clemson. That makes it four. Glenn Corbett now has nine points. Substitution for Maryland. Terry Long coming onto the court. Derek Lewis is going to sit down. Lewis had a very quiet ball game. He's a great shot blocker. A freshman from Temple Hills, Maryland, has blocked 77 shots this year. But Lewis hasn't scored and hasn't been very evident defensively so far today. Full court pressure, man to man right now. Look at Marshall picking up Branch. 6 1 against 6 8. Gatlin now against Hamilton. And now here comes Marshall over as they make the switch. Look at Lenny Bias post up on the inside. Horace Grant trying to keep him away from the basket. Gatlin is open on the wing. The shot good. Keith Gatlin picking up his 12 point in the first half. Keith Gatlin hit five out of six shots, so he's six for seven now. Michael all alone from long range. Doesn't get it. Branch was there, and so is Terry Long, and Branch clears the rebound for Maryland. And the Turks with a chance to tie the ball game now. Early in the second half. Grant looking for that shot now. In and out, can't get it. Long keeping it alive, but Hamilton has it for Clemson. Hamilton, Marshall, baseline, nice Michael. Can't get it. Look at Grant with another offensive rebound try, and the ball was knocked loose by Long out of bounds. 
Bumps to Clemson. You always notice, Fred, that when they run their offensive patterns, they always wind up with two or three guys around the basket. That helps your offensive rebounding. It's not so much your jumping ability as it is your positioning on the floor. And Clemson's always got a couple of guys around the glass. Adrian Branch and Terry Long go to the bench now. Terry Long just came in the ball game. He's right back out again. Tom Speedy Jones is in there now. Gatlin Bias is on the floor. Derek Lewis right back in. So he went out very long. Marshall, Michael, Hamilton deep in the corner. Maryland State's man to man right now. Michael had a notion, didn't shoot it. Michael quick move in the lane. Nope. And the ball. Corbett picks it up and scores left-handed. That one just got loose in the lane. <laughs> Lenny picks up his 11. I think Lenny Bias was upset. I think he got hammered pretty good in there, and he thought somebody knocked the ball away from him and got his arm in the, in the midst of trying to keep in the basketball inside. 39-35. Clemson by four. 16-30 left in the contest. Bias in heavy traffic, and he's fouled. That one was called on Glenn Corbett in his second. They maybe could have picked out a guy and called one that time. Bias was getting hammered front and back. It's called circling the wagon. You want to see guys around him right here. Look here, three of them right there. All five <laughs> white Clemson shirts right there in the picture. I count three guys that fouled him. 39-35. Now Clemson stays in his own defense. They were man-to-man, -man, but they stayed in and out of that out-of-bounds pass. Branch to Gatlin. Good. Look, Keith Gatlin just running him down. He has 14 points. 39-37, Clemson. Marshall to Michael. Hamilton now. Takes Atkins into the circle. Marshall to Grant. Good movement right now by Clemson. They're running that half-court offense really well. Watch them screen and post up on the inside. You'll find somebody pop loose here in a minute for a good jump shot or a, an easy one inside. 17 seconds on the shot clock. Maryland playing strong defense right now. Grant Marshall from long range. Can't get it. Michael had it and lost it. And here comes Atkins for Maryland. Gives it up to Gatlin. So the Terrapins with good defense that time. 15-35 left in the game. Hey, one thing, they better start getting on Keith Gatlin or he'll burn him right there because he can shoot it from there. Atkins from the top of the circle. Loops one in and out. Corbett has the rebound. Gatlin shot him out of the defense they were in to start the game when he had five quick shots. Hamilton loops one from the deep corner and nails it. Vincent Hamilton has a dozen points. Or he's got a really strange shot, Fred. It almost looks like he's not ever going to get it off, but he does. He seems to get it off just at the last second as soon as the defender gets close to him. Falls away even when he's open. He gets a very high arch on it. There's Derek Lewis taking the short one in the lane. Can't get it. And Horace Grant has a rebound. Up to Marshall. They're three on two. Marshall tried to get it to Corbett, and he lost the grip on it. It's out of bounds and goes right back to Maryland. Raymond Jones returning now to the Clemson lineup. There's Cliff Ellis at the Clemson bench, and we have a timeout with 14.52 left in this basketball game. Clemson leads Maryland 41-37. Lady. 14.52 left in the game. Boy, Larry, neither side's been able to break open. Most ball games, you'll see a team get out by 10 or 12 on the inner side and make a run to get back. It just hasn't been like that. Six points has been the biggest lead. And there's a big problem for Clemson. Glenn McCants, their center, has had knee surgery. He's out for the year. Went down to the South Carolina game this week. Uh, really helped hurt Cliff Phillips because he was counting on him to be a center. You know, when you take the postman out, it changes your whole offense. You go without a postman, and I think that's what they've done offensively as you see the field goal shooting right there in the second half. They've had to readjust their offense to come up with a different team. And he was really their only shot blocker, too. Oh, oh. Glenn Bias, and he's fouled. Defensive mistake made by Jones. Glenn Bias clearly was going to get two out of it that time, and Raymond Jones... Picked up a foul when he couldn't prevent the point. What you call your high percentage shot. Yeah. <laughs> Land Bias has 12 points. That's the third foul on Raymond Jones, too. Just not a good foul to pick up. First free throw today for Land Bias. The 6'8 junior. Three-point play. And now it's 41-40. Clemson by one. Michael Hamilton is alone. It's good. Boy, did they get the ball down the floor quick. I mean, it was two passes, and Hamilton headed up with a wide-open shot. 14 points for Hamilton, 43-40, Clemson. And now we've got an injury. Glenn Corbett has been hurt, an official with a whistle-stopping action. And a Clemson.
Clemson trainer is going to come out and take a look now at Glenn Corbett. I don't know if it's his ankle or his knee. It appears to be something on his left leg. I didn't see it happen. I didn't, I didn't either. I thought maybe he may have turned his ankle. He reached down and grabbed. I thought his left ankle. So Glenn Corbett's being helped back to the Clemson bench. Cliff Ellis watching him come back. It was a good move be. by Hank Nichols to stop play, Fred. Yes, it was. Right there, because it, really there was nothing uh, that could happen right there. Maryland was not pushing the ball up the floor. He looked up and saw that Corbett was hurt, and they took him out of the game. So Corbett has been replaced. Bias. Glenn Bias with 15 points. Boy, they're finding him open inside now. 43-42, Clemson. 14.07 left in this game. Grayson Marshall. Chris Michael. Jones, Michael from the deep wing, good. Chris Michael can shoot at this fourth point of the afternoon. If Michael and Hamilton continue to shoot the basketball from that range right there, Maryland will have to come out of that zone defense. We're seeing some great shooting today. Maryland with that blistering first half, shot 63%. That's a bad choice right there by Lewis to try to pass the ball to Lenny Bias. When you got a guy three feet away from you, you can't throw him a rocket. That's what he tried to do. Lefty Drizel looking on from the Maryland bench. Cliff Ellis standing in the white shirt, first year coach at Clemson, coming off a great career at South Alabama. A score to Michael, stolen by Speedy Jones. Here comes Maryland, and Jones wisely decides to hold it up. Gets it to Gatlin, the point guard. And Gatlin's going to set the tear up an offense. Maryland down by three. Gatlin, look at that. Clemson defense get back off of him. Well, they really fall back in and giving him that shot. I can't believe they're doing that. They've got to come back out there and prevent him from taking that jump shot. Gatlin now has 16 points in this contest, and he has been a red-hot shooter today. And Fred, I can only remember him having one layup. All of them have been from long range. All of them about that same spot. Benson Hamilton answers at the other end. 16 points for Hamilton, and again, three-point lead to Clemson. We've got a shooting clinic going on here, Larry. Both clubs shoot well. Not only are they shooting the ball well, but they've got good form, and they're getting good shots. The defense is there. The ball, when you've got it free from that angle, just like Gatlin right there, he had a shot. We've got a whistle blowing. Players hitting the deck in the lane. Len Bias is down on the floor. He and Grant's angle down there. Let's see what happens. Look at Grant Bias really trying to battle right here. Foul was on Horace Grant, his second. I'm not quite sure how he put him down. He got him on the floor in a hurry. Grant, again, Bias goes down in the lane. And he may be hobbling. He is hobbling. Bias is hurt. He went down again. And he's limping a little bit as he goes back down to the baseline. Now he's all right now. When he got to that post position, he got better. <laughs> That was Adrian Branch off the baseline with his seventh point, and Clemson brings it back with a one-point lead now. Michael deep in the corner. Marshall. Michael. Uh, can he shoot? <laughs> Six points for Chris Michael, and all of them from way out on the wing. I'm going to tell you what, the answer to Gatlin on the other end is Michael and Hamilton. They're both filling it up. 49-46. They're really surrounded inside by it. They don't want him to get the basketball, and Jones has got his hand Adrian Branch is going to take the jumper. Dip drive. Look at Speedy Jones with a jump hook. No. And Clemson takes it away. Raymond Jones has the basketball. Here we come the other way. Keith Gatlin is going to dunk it. No, he's not. He laid it up softly. A little surprise. Gatlin having a great game, Fred. Grayson Marshall answers <laughs> at the other end of the floor. Boy, there's really no time to talk in this game. You just got to sit back and watch it. Going it down just a bit now. Maryland walks it up. Clemson back in the zone, back in again. Right now, nobody, at least Bias, is not in the middle. That's where they want him. Grant, it's good. Adrian nice Branch has nice. Nice cut. 51 50, Clemson. Chris Michael. That one won't fall for him, and Horace Grant. And Branch Tangle. And Horace Grant has his third personal foul. Horace again. Watch Michael. Here's a shot. He shot on the run. The others have been going straight up. Good rebound by Branch. And there's the foul right there by Grant. And now we have a timeout taken here. 
This one comes with 10.55 left in this basketball game. The score at the moment, Clemson 51, Maryland 50. Stay with us. A week from night, Sunday night, college baseball on ESPN with Texas and Arizona State at 8 p.m. Eastern time, 5 o'clock Pacific live. ESPN Sunday night college baseball lineup presents the appearance of two top 10 ranked teams in Texas and Arizona State. 55 left in this game and quite a matchup here. Out of the shooting by Keith Gallinari, he is 9 for 10, and he's had two shots from close range. The other seven buckets have come from the top of the circle. Well, he's just an outstanding shooter, and one of the things clubs has got to be aware of is they've got to move that zone defense out a little bit further to prevent him from taking that shot. He's the guy that's really destroyed Clemson right now. Hamilton was 4 for 12 in the first half. Well, he's hit every shot in the second half. Maryland with a chance to take the lead now. 10.35 left in this contest. Maryland 9 for 14 as a team in this half, shooting 64%. Bias got an air ball. What a shock. Hamilton tried to get it to Michael, and it belongs to Maryland. Clemson claiming the ball was tipped, and now the official is going to change the call. Cliff Ellis waiting on the sideline. The official away from the ball, gave it to Maryland, but one of the other officials spreading the play saw that it was tipped. Let's see right here. It looked like, yeah, right there, I think maybe Gatlin might have gotten a hand on him. Michael looks like he pulled his arms in, so he couldn't touch it because the pass was behind him. There's the ball deflected and taken away by Maryland, led by us. Well, you know, at halftime, we thought Maryland couldn't continue to shoot 62%. They haven't. They got a little better. Yeah, they're 64% <laughs> now. <laughs> Gee whiz, how can you shoot that good on the road or anywhere else? with another chance to go in front here. 9.59 left in the game. Gatlin, Grant, good defense by Clemson right now. Bias wants the ball inside, but they can't get it to him. Gatlin takes a look in there, but there's no opening. Branch, Gatlin, oh. Keith Gatlin. I'm going to tell you what, Dan Saxon and Gatlin from 12 feet. He has had 10 of 11 shots in this ball game and has 20 points. Great shooting by Gatlin. Hamilton may cast one from there. Nope. Marshall, 52-51. Maryland up by a point. 9.25 left in the game. Marshall, Michael. That's a pretty good matchup right there, Branch on Hamilton. 6-8 against 6-4. Michael got the open shot from way out on the floor. It's in and out. And Adrian Branch with a big rebound for Maryland. Gives to Gatlin, and here comes Maryland. First time this half they've had the lead and the basketball. They're up by one with 9.04 to play. Clemson going to be content to stay with that zone defense. Here's the lob. Uh, Bias was there to nail it. 17 <laughs> points for Bias in the ball game, And a three-point lead to Maryland. Good lob pass, Larry. Fred, that's just an excellent play. When you look inside like that, Lynn Bias must have given him the high sign. And when he did, he went right to the top. Tell you what, you have to throw that pass in the right spot. Look at Hamilton. In and out. Jones keeps it alive. Hamilton's got it again. Michael on the baseline. Good defense there by Tom Jones. Hamilton, Branch has him shut off. Marshall, Harvey Grant, Hamilton. Good defense by Maryland. There it is, and it's good ball movement by Clemson also. You'll see somebody pop loose here in a minute. 25 seconds on the shot clock. Clemson needs a basket right here, but the Maryland's made a run. They push the lead out to three. Marshall, good patience by Clemson. 15 seconds on the shot clock, and there's Grant colliding in the lane with down there from Maryland. That's Derek Lewis, and the foul is called on Derek Lewis. That's his second. You see the move right here? He was. He moved his right foot to the right side just as he went inside. Lewis went to the floor, and he's going to be the one who draws the foul. 8-12 left in the contest. Clemson with the basketball down by three. That gives him a new 45-second shot clock. Maryland playing great defense this series. And Clemson playing very patient offense. Hamilton. It's in and out. Bias has the rebound. And here comes Maryland up by three. Good defense. Made a dividend that time. But I'll tell you what happened. Is Branch has got his hand up, and he's got that four-inch height advantage over Hamilton, and it's made it more difficult for him to shoot that shot. He's had to arch it a little bit, and I think it's thrown his timing off. Branch outside to Catlin. You get the feeling he's too close. We're going to slow it down a little bit, become a little bit more patient with the basketball. Just got to say, Maryland taking a little time with it right now. Both teams have played very well. Branch. Jones. 14 seconds on the shot clock. 
basketball. Both teams using the clock right now. Down to 10. Branch from the top of the circle. Too strong with it, but Jones with a big offensive rebound. Got the rebound long, and Maryland gets another shot clock, and they look like they're going to run some more clock. Right? It's kind of interesting. We played 30 minutes of helter-skelter basketball, and then all of a sudden both clubs decide to go patient. Branch. Gatlin. Branch. 23 seconds from the shot clock. Clemson's going to stay with that zone defense. They're going to try to keep it away from Bias and Lewis on the inside. Something I don't understand about shot clocks. Why is it mandatory that they put them on top of the, on the basket, on top of the basket? They've got them in different places in a lot of gyms. There's Gatlin getting it. Gatlin now with 22 points. Who else did you expect? When they <laughs> need a one, he gets it. Five-point lead out of Maryland. Gatlin has had seven shots in a row and 11 out of 12 in his ball game. Jones. Raymond Jones, the center, comes out to pick up the shot in the circle. He has four points. Up two, the Clemson lead it badly. Now the Tigers down by three. Maryland with the lead in the basketball. 6-24 left in this game. Now Clemson's got away from that man. The man, they go zone, and immediately Maryland recognizes, tries to go to the post up inside. Lewis, Branch, Gatlin. What you want to do here is post Branch up against Hamilton on the inside because it's 6-8 against 6-4. See if they can get the matchup. Bias out of shape, throws it up too strong. Gets his own rebound. And he's going to be called for a walk. Bias really working hungry for two that time. A little bit too hungry, perhaps. Glenn Levy Drizel bringing his Maryland club back to the bench as we have a timeout taken here. With six minutes left in the game, it's Maryland up by three over Clemson. Carolina right now at Thursday, February 21st, 11 p.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific Live, ESPN takes you to the West Coast for Pac-10 basketball with UCLA and California. Good basketball action here this afternoon, 56-53, Maryland leading Clemson with six minutes left in the game, and Len Bias on the bench. He's complaining about his ankle. Yeah, there it is, right in the front there, the front part of his leg. I tell you, having him out of the lineup will hurt Maryland because they desperately need that inside play of Bias. That sign, of course, referring to the fact that Lefty Drizel is going for his 500th career win. He's been stalled twice in the bid for 500, once by his alma mater, Duke, once by North Carolina. They'll play at Georgia Tech Tuesday night. Larry and I will be there. You know, Fred, this is a tough road trip for Maryland. They come to Clemson, then they go right on to Atlanta to play Georgia Tech. Tech off of that disappointing loss to Virginia yesterday up in Charlottesville. But you know, Tech has never beaten Virginia in Charlottesville in the ACC. Big trip here for Clemson. They're down by three with 5.46 to play. Hamilton alone and buries it. Then Hamilton, Clark of a good shooter, Larry. He had a bad shooting first half. Four for 12 and just kept it going, and now he's hot. Tell you something interesting. Maryland made a switch in their defense that time, and Branch was not gardening. Adkins was. Hamilton immediately picked up his 10th point of the half. And now it's a one-point lead to Maryland with 5.24 left in the game. This becomes a big trip now for Maryland. But with a lot more pressure now. Lewis on the run. Missed it. The ball loose on the floor. Branch trying to save it. It's out of bounds, and Clemson with a chance to go back in front. Derek Lewis 0 for 3 in this game, and you can see maybe him being a little bit hesitant when he came down the lane to shoot. I don't think Maryland was prepared for that pressure that Clemson threw at them. They came out there, and all of a sudden, all five guys were alive, and Maryland was standing around. Clemson trying to regain the lead now. The clock showing five minutes left in the game. 56-55, Maryland. Michael from long range. Good! Oh! What shooting by these teams. Eight points for Michael, and Clemson's up by one. We didn't think they could improve on the first half, but now both teams are shooting. 440 left in the contest. Adrian Branch for Maryland. The Terrapins need to regain the lead. Len Bias set to come back in the Maryland lineup at first opportunity. Atkins. Jones. They'll get further and further away from the basket. They need to move the ball toward it. Penetrate. Get inside. Very active defense. And Branch forces one. Misses. And Clemson has it. Raymond Jones. Good defense by the Tigers that time. Look where they come out of that TV timeout. Clemson ready to play. Maryland's not ready. They force Maryland to take a bad shot. 4.05 left in the game. Clemson up by one with a basketball. 
Michael very deep on the wing. I really thought Maryland had it going their way. You know, they got up by three, then up by five, and now all of a sudden, here comes Clemson back again. Michael, 17 seconds on the shot clock. Grant, Marshall, 12 seconds on the shot clock. And a whistle blows in the lane. We've got a foul. Grant and Derek Lewis tangled down in there, and Derek Lewis is called for his third foul. Neither side in the one-on-one. -on -one. Each team has committed 14 fouls. Neither side has been in the one-on-one -on -one all day. i tell you what, that could have gone either way right there. I think maybe the call was right. Derek Lewis was pushing off, and that was the call that was made. You saw both players turn and look at the official right there. Timeout here. Comes with 343 left in this basketball game. Clemson with a one-point lead over Maryland. We'll see him again. Maryland will be at Georgia Tech Tuesday night. And your Julie and Larry will be there. Should be a good one. Georgia Tech in first place in the conference right now. Based upon the number of wins they have in the conference. In the loss column, they got five clubs with four losses. I think Kremlin's has turned that into a fun place to see a basketball game. It really has. You know, John Sally is such an improved player. I really think he deserves to be first team all Atlantic Coast Conference. He's had a great year up in the top ten in, re in scoring, the top three in rebounding. He's just been an outstanding player for them. There's Land Bias. He's not limping or showing any ill effects as he comes back on the floor. There has been a very tidy ball game. Not very many fouls, not very many turnovers. And good shooting. Neither side has called a timeout. Michael. 34 left in the game. Well, almost a dangerous pass. was a dangerous pass. Almost turned it over. Hamilton in the circle. Atkins, good defense. Shut him down. Well, Maryland playing strong defense now. They look like they've come out of this timeout ready to play. Michael outside to Hamilton. 23 seconds on the shot clock. Michael down inside it goes. And a foul called against Atkins. Hamilton got the ball. And Atkins was reaching. Called for his first personal foul. That is 16 fouls now on Maryland. Clemson's been called for four. Watch Hamilton make the move down the lane right there. Atkins was late getting there. you got to front the guy. Beat him to that position. If you don't, you're in trouble. Oh, what a feed. Oh, Chris Michael got the shot off the inbound pass. Michael with 10 points in the ball game. And Clemson up by three with 3.09 to play. Boy, has a good dish to Michael moving down the lane. Maryland needs the basket right here. Got to get it back to one. Lenny Bias really calling for the ball. He's got his knee wrapped, Fred. See it now. Turnover. Clemson gets it back. Up gotta, by three. Fred, got a jump ball. I think what Hank Nichols says was they were on top of the basketball. He was going to call a jump ball. And the possession goes to Clemson. Clemson. Here it is. He said on the floor. He was patting the floor saying it was a jump ball on the floor. Yep. Now Clemson, up by three, has the ball with 2.44 left. If they run a little clock and score here, it could be a big trip for them. Hamilton takes it way back outside. I think they want to run some clock, Larry. Oh, yeah, they can get it under two minutes on this possession. No, they can't. They're four or five seconds short of two minutes. Jones all alone. Marshall near the lane. Look at him spread that offense out. Marshall, right there, point blank range to Horace Grant. 16 points for Horace Grant. Clemson up by five with 2.17 to play. Time for a timeout. Lefty wants to call one and does, and Lefty's to hit it straight for Adrian Branch as he comes to the sideline. Grant with his first bucket of the second half, and Clemson matching their biggest lead in the ball game, up by five now with 2.13 to play. There's the Maryland bench. Lefty working. Boy, he went straight to Adrian Branch when they came back to the bench that time. Good execution by Clemson. When you draw up a delay game, what you want is to put the ball in your ball handler's hand. And that was right then. That was Grayson Marshall. He took it down the middle. You got two guys on the wing. They broke to the baseline. You drop the ball when the defense comes and gets you. You can't draw it up any better. What was interesting was Marshall was in there facing the basket point blank range and still looking for somebody to dish it to, and he, he found his man. The well, thing about it is he's got to get out of there within three seconds or they're going to get him for a violation. So once he comes in there and pulls that dribble of somebody, he's got to break open. Clemson has two fouls to spend before they'll put Maryland in the one-on-one. -on -one. The next Maryland foul puts Clemson in the one-on-one. -on -one. Larry, if you want to start looking for people to foul, they can foul Raymond Jones. He's a 53% shooter. Horace Grant, 62% shooter, having a good shooting day. Corbett, 66. Michael, 67. A little bit early maybe to start fouling somebody in a game like this, but you have to be thinking about it. Yeah, I think it is a little bit early right now, unless there's a breakaway. If you got a chance to stop a guy on a breakaway, you want to do that. 
again Tuesday night. Maryland's at Georgia Tech. We'll have that game for you on ESPN, 9 o'clock Eastern Time. Jeff Adkins will inbound the ball right in front of us here. 61-56, Clemson up by five. 2.13 left in the game. Maryland right in front of us with the basketball. Adkins and the captain. Adrian Branch. Important in Maryland not lose the basketball on this trip down the floor. They've got to have a basket. Look at Clemson, aggressive on defense. There's Adrian Branch off the screen, can't drop it, and Jones takes the rebound away. Clemson has a five-point lead in the basketball with one minute and 49 seconds left in the game. Look at the crowd in Little John. Marshall to Jones as they spread the offense. Cliff Ellis standing in the white shirt back in front of the Clemson bench. Hamilton dribbling in traffic. <laughs> Keeps it up. <laughs> that would have to be tempted. 20 seconds on the shot clock. Clemson running some time down here. Marshall's inside to Jones. He did it the first time on the left side. That time he did it to the right, and it was Jones who was the recipient. Seven-point lead for Clemson, their biggest of the game. 1-16 left, and Maryland on their ropes. Atkins. Through the hands of Jones, picked up by Gatlin. Good. Oh, what a shooting day Gatlin has had. 24 points in this game for Gatlin. He's 12 for 13 from the floor. So Maryland's still alive. This time now it comes with 105 left in the basketball game. It's now Clemson 63, Maryland 58. And speed and roaring for the Clemson Tigers who have a five-point lead over Maryland with a minute five left in this basketball game. And Clemson has really played good basketball here today. Yeah, when they finish up, Fred, with this basketball game, this is their last home game. They go on the road. They've got Virginia and Charlottesville. They've got North Carolina and Chapel Hill. And, of course, they've got Duke and Durham. Tough way to finish up the league. Yes, it is. Clemson with the ball and the five-point lead with a minute five left in the game. Lefty Drizel directing his club right in front of him right now. Now, whistle blows, and... Clemson's going to go to the line. Len Bias committing personal foul number three. Levy Drizel sitting back on the bench now. Can only hope that Clemson doesn't hit the free throw. This club down by five. Minute three to play. Raymond Jones on the line. They fouled the right guy. He's a 53% free throw shooter. First time with the line today. A 6'8 senior from Union, South Carolina. walking to the line and making them when you have to. You know, yeah. Clemson's got a stat here that they keep. It's free throws made and missed in the final five minutes. That's going to register well for Mr. Jones tomorrow. But Ellis bring his club up by six and seven. Raymond Jones in a move. Two big free throws for Jones. Seven-point lead to Clemson. One minute left in the game. Gatlin for Maryland. Deep on the wing. They've got to shoot it. Adkins. Oh, what a day he has had shooting. He has missed just one shot. 13 out of 14 from the floor for Gatlin here today. So Lefty calls his second timeout. This one comes with 54 seconds left in the game. And again, Clemson up by five. Lefty having to burn his timeouts here to try to get his club back in it. So immediately you got to think, what are they going to do? they got to go back and foul again. If they go back to Jones, do you want to go back and just foul a man who just made two free throws in a row? Who else do you seek out? Right now... They've got no choice. They've got to foul because they've got 54 seconds left and they're down by five. I would think if Jones gets the ball, you've got to look at him one more time with his season percentage. But Larry, you've, you've been a shooter. Sometimes it doesn't matter what your percentages are. Some days you just feel it and you shoot it better. Georgia Tech and Duke. And Clemson and North Carolina will hook up in an ACC doubleheader on ESPN on Saturday. February 25th, hope to have you along for ACC action on ESPN. More of the same we're getting here today. 65-60 Clemson, 54 seconds left in the game. How about the day for Keith Gatlin? They're a 26 points, 13 out of 14 from the floor, and no more than two from point blank range. The rest I was going to say, I can only remember two layups. The rest of them have all been you know, about 15 to 20 feet out. Going to be tough for Maryland here. Let's see what they do. 
Baxter's in the lineup. Shorter, quicker guard out front. A little bit more defense. Somebody to chase the ball. And Jones is fair down at the other end of the floor with Speedy Jones. And Fred also maybe to waste some fouls. I mean, he hasn't played today. He's got five in there. Maryland's got one timeout left. Clemson's got their four. The lob to Grayson Marshall to see if they foul him. Not yet they haven't. Now they do. And it was Baxter. You're right, Larry. It was Baxter committing the foul. They stopped the clock with 50 seconds left in the game. If the strategy is going to be to put the ball in the hands of the guy, the short ball handler, and that right now has got to be Grayson Marshall at 6-2. If you're going to match up with him, you're going to put Baxter, their little guy, on him. you got a foul, force him to go to the line. Well, they've got Marshall on the line now. And Grayson Marshall's a 73% shooter on the line for the first time today. 6-2 freshman from Washington, D.C., St. John's High School. He knows the folks at home are watching Time with it. There is a time limit. Ten seconds. Got it. Everybody, ha everybody has their own little <laughs> system, don't they? <laughs> kind of makes you nervous when there's a time involved, though, doesn't it? <laughs> Especially when the referee's over there standing there making that count. 66 60 now. Marshall. He better shoot it. And he does. Grayson Marshall has four points. We should have put a clock on him. Again, the seven-point lead to Clemson, 46 seconds. Atkins from the top of the circle, good. Jeff Atkins has eight points, and Maryland calls another timeout, and that's their last one. So this timeout comes now with 42 seconds left in the basketball game. Score at the moment, Clemson 67, Maryland 62. We'll be back right after this. Timeouts now with 42 seconds left in the game. Clemson up by five with the basketball. Not over yet. Clemson still has to go to the line to make those free throws. I can guarantee you Maryland's going to foul. Hamilton drops the ball. It's out of bounds, and Maryland gets it with 40 seconds left. Big break right there. Now Maryland has a chance to cut it to three. Baxter will handle the inbound pass. Gatlin, Baxter, is it up Gatlin? There he is. Oh, what a day. 28 points now for Gatlin. He did 14 out of 15 shots. Grayson Marshall fouled as the ball comes inbounds and keeps Gatlin helping him up. Foul was on Gatlin. His second. They'll give him two shots, too. They said it was an intentional foul. How about 14 out of 15 shooting for Gatlin today? Boy. Now Marshall, who just hit two free throws, is back up there. Let's put a stopwatch on him at the line and see how long he takes shooting this. After he's handed the ball, let's see how long before he shoots it. We'll put the watch on. Four seconds. Six seconds. Eight seconds. Nine and a half seconds. He had a half second left when he shot it. Whew. Marshall hits it. Three straight free throws for Grayson Marshall. Five points. counting. He got it off. I'll tell you what, I think he knows what he's doing. He knows how long 10 seconds is. He's at four straight free throws, five-point lead, Clemson, 30 seconds left in the game. I don't believe I'd change any part of that. Jeff Atkins, the shot no good. Big rebound for Atkins. He's going to be called for a charge. Clemson gets the ball back with 24 seconds left in the game, leading by five. The foul on Atkins is second. You see it right here, Atkins with a miss, and a good effort to follow and get the ball back. But there's the offensive charge right there. So now Clemson will throw it inbounds again. And, oh, what a save by Hamilton. Nice catch, and he's fouled by Baxter. It'll be a one and one The foul on Baxter, his second. Hamilton made a nice catch right in front of us. I was about ready to catch the basketball. I thought I was headed for the seat. Cliff Ellis, the Clemson coach, 20 seconds left. Yeah, that's the second time Hamilton almost lost the basketball. He lost it the first time. It went out of bounds, which is a turnover to Maryland. The second one almost came in our laps. This time it'll be Hamilton on the free throw line. He's 0 for 1 on the line. Has 18 points in the ball game. For the 
one thing Clemson's been able to do is walk up to that line and make their free throws. If they don't make them, Maryland's back in the basketball game. They've hit seven straight free throws down the stretch here, Larry. They're up by six. Hamilton trying to make it seven again with 20 seconds left in the game. And does. Eight straight free throws down the stretch by Clemson. 20 points for Hamilton. 18 seconds left in the game. Baxter with a fadeaway off the baseline is short with it. Hamilton's going to run it up short. And he lost it. Can't get the shot away. Here we go the other direction. The ball is out of bounds and belongs to Clemson. They're going to keep the basketball. Atkins was standing out of bounds when he caught it. And Lefty Brazil's going to be denied his 500th victory for the third consecutive time. Have to try it again at Georgia Tech on Disney, and that will not be easy. Five seconds left in the game. Atkins with the interception. That's all academic. Gatlin with a layup to end the game. The basket doesn't count. They wave the bucket off. Clemson wins it 71 to 64. The Tigers pick up their 15th victory of the year, one more than they got last year. Maryland falls to 19 and 9, and now 5 and 5 in the ACC with the Clemson victory here today. Today's game has been brought to you by the 4200 Investment Executives of Payne Weber in more than 285 offices nationwide, and by UPS Next Day Air, getting today's packages there tomorrow morning. Will open up their home court schedule in front of a capacity crowd with guards Andre Turner and Perry Moss leading the way. On the other side of half court,